we're gonna get some joists installed. Let's get to it. I feel like we're in a good position to have a strong week here, possibly finishing this thing. We're gonna put a chalk line exactly where the inside of this band is. Instead of pulling a measurement and just cutting them all the same size, we don't really know or can't really rely on it being accurate because of the ledger. We just pull our tape measurement from this point, And then as we install our joists, that band will straighten out. Right now what Antonio's prepping is the double beam that's gonna go from here to there. We prep all of our lines, 16 on center, put all of our lags in. What we used for this is uh, the ledger lag by Fasten Master. It's pretty much every eight inches on center staggered fastening pattern. Let's put this bad boy up. 118 and a half. That doesn't seem right. Why is it so much lower? This what? is a little thick, it's nine and five eighths. Nine and five eighths. Oh, okay, good deal. Uh, what's the thickness? Three and one eight. And I would highly recommend not using these because they're just a pain in the ass, especially when you're trying to do detail work. They're not my favorite hangers. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam it! Let's pull our 16s pretty much straight through. Boom. If you guys are wondering what kind of square I'm using, this is a Martinez speed square. This thing is awesome. Martinez signature series, got a bubble level here. Super helpful when cutting rafter tails or any kind of plum cut. All right, so Antonio has been feeding me generously. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here and start slapping these puppies in place. What's great about the way he's doing this is I can pretty much do this on my on my own. So guys, I put those lines in so that way I know my joist is plumb. That looks good, Antonio. That felt good. Our line looks good. It's gonna probably end up pushing that guy out. That's tight for a joist. Did it push it out? It pushed it out? Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna need to take some off. How much did it, was it like bowing out there? Do you know? A little less than eight. A little, maybe like a light eight. Cool. I mean, it's it's nice and tight over here too. It looks 
looks just like it's supposed to. I'm gonna have to do the same thing to this other side too. A lot of people seem to think that they don't need to fasten the outside other than just with nails to the outside band. But when you do that, you risk the chance of the outside band separating from the joist. Um, we definitely overbuilt this deck using two by tens for a 12 foot span with a 11 foot drop gurner with a one foot cantilever. But you know, yeah, we could have used two by eight, but why? Why, when you're building a composite deck, you want that thing as strong as possible. And you know what, using two by tens, it just makes sense here. doing right now is um, I've got to set the girder for my stair stringers uh, the stair stringer the, the very first tread you know is it's gonna sit down whatever the rise is right so we put a girder pretty much an extension of the outside band I find out what my total length on my stairs is gonna be 46 inches from the girder over so it's 30 and 7 eighths from the girder out that's 12 inches We got to pump up Antonio's tire before he drives home, which means we are done for the day. I got the stringers cut so tomorrow we can get 
right to building these stairs. Um, I dug out some of this uh, landing for the stairs and there's actually super compact dirt here. It, 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 it feels like there's gravel underneath here. This may have been where the previous set of stairs were before. Looks like we have just a few more things to block out, but I think after we get done with that early in the morning, we should be able to put our Fasten Master seal on the top of this deck and get it ready for decking. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be finishing out the stairs. If we can manage to get the decking done tomorrow, uh, that puts us in a good spot to be able to see us being through with this thing by Friday. But that's the goal and uh, that's what we're pushing for. So stick around and see if we just are able to do that. We'll see you tomorrow.